Hi guys, it's Kevin. I wanted to talk about three stocks under $10 that were in play last week and will remain in play going into this week as long as the volume remains elevated, which I would expect it to, at least into Monday. And the first one we're going to look at is CANF. And you can see down here volume just exploded massively and you saw a really good price reaction up in the stock going from 250 to over five dollars a 100 percent move in the span of a couple days what I like about this play is it is right around a round level in the form of five dollars you closed Friday at 480 so you're right here around five and I'm just gonna go with every other 50 cents as kind of a pivot point I think if you're below five you actually play the short trade on this one and I think you saw evidence of that on the fade on Friday you hit 550 560 ended up closing down beneath five bucks so there was some sell pressure into that after what has been a big move to the upside so below five I think you look for a move down towards 450 below 450 you look for a move down towards four bucks above five you look for a test on this 550 level and above 550 you look for a test up here towards six pretty simple play and another thing you want to watch for is volume seven million shares traded yesterday three million shares the day prior so you want to see you know at least probably five million shares on the day to signal that liquidity is staying elevated and that there is still good interest here in this stock the next play is FWM FWM similar to CANF you know big move off of a low last week on increased volume and you're coming up towards a round level in the form of four dollars so same type of play you know relative to four bucks if you are staying below four I think you look for a move back down towards 350 to three bucks above four you look for a move up towards 450 to five bucks and then at either three if you're to the downside or five if you're to the upside you're gonna trade it the same way if you can get above five you look for six towards six if you get below three you look for a move down towards 250 to two bucks volume a bit lower on this play so you know it's important I think more important here to see volume remain closer to Friday's highs of two and a half million shares so you want to certainly be over two million and ideally closer to two and a half three million shares in order to show that it's still in play between the two I think this one is more likely to get faded and have less momentum because there's more trading history you've had volume spikes before and as you can see on the chart every single volume spike that we've gotten over the last six to eight months has resulted in a downtrend move in the stock anyway so you know I would expect history to repeat itself why will this time be different I don't think it will but again just watch that four dollar action use that to kind of guide the trade this is another one that I would favor the short side on relative to four bucks lastly looking at GERN this one probably the cleanest of the two as far as you know not being in a absolute downtrend in the last few months and not having made a ridiculously huge move where it's not too overbought it is overbought all these are overbought but overbought conditions can continue for a while but you're not right up near four you're kind of in between that right around 375 so I would watch that over under 375 level and see you know kind of what happens in this pocket between 350 and four bucks I think if you're able to stay around here and just north of 350 overall then there's a decent shot for GERN to go up into that four dollar to 450 range if you start losing 450 then I would look for a pullback back down towards three dollars into this 275 250 area GERN though I think has the you know cleanest most reliable setup the other two are just purely momentum plays volume plays this one actually has a little bit of a breakout element to it and you know getting above some previous resistance here now so we shall see but as long as you're above 350 I think you can trade GERN to the upside where four dollars would be the next momentum trigger for another big day like Friday 
You can see this is also the most liquid of the stocks. 18 million shares traded, so that's good. Volume should stay consistent. I'd want to see her another day, you know, give or take 15 million shares or so to show that the interest level is still there on these three. Keep in mind, short week this week. Most people probably just trade Monday through Wednesday, even though the market is open for a half day on Friday. So very possible that you see Monday and Tuesday as the most active days this week. Keep that in mind when looking at these three. So just to recap, I like CANF leaning more short versus the $5 level that it backed off of. But if you can get above 5 you can get going to the upside. I like FWM on the short side versus $4. But if you can get above 4 I think you can keep going. And I like GERN on the long side versus 350. All of these probably likely to gap one direction or the other, so be mindful of these reference points relative to any gaps. Good luck.